First, there's a question. These last few days mark the end of what we know as the solstice or Easter period with its sequence of energetic events that culminate as the story goes in the rolling aside of the stone and a new being emerge. Are you having difficulty comprehending who and what it is that has emerged. It seems from the phone calls and emails that this is the case. There are several old Sufi stories not to bring an answer for us but to provide a chemistry that allows us to recognize the qualities or what it is that is present at this time. The first is that story about the Sultan who sent a messenger to the great Sufi Sheikh Al Ghazali, demanding his presence at his court because he was expecting an important ambassador, an important representative from an allied country. But Al Ghazali sent a message back with the messenger to tell the Sultan that the air in the place where Al Ghazali was was the most suitable for his well being. And since this air could not be bottled, he would be unable to attend as requested. And the Sultan was very, very angry about this rejection. But as it happened, the visit of the ambassador was cancelled. But some time later, just at a moment, the great being El Bizali arrived at the Sultan's court just at the moment when an assassin had found his way into the palace and was about to kill the Sultan. And Al Ghazali was able to intervene until the guards came to dispose of this would be killer. Now, the Sultan, in acknowledging what Al Ghazali had done. He said, You have saved my life, but I am still angry about your not obeying my request. Al Ghazali responded, The duty of those who know is to be in the right place at the right time not waiting for ambassadors who are not going to arrive. The second Sufi story is about that dervish. He was quite an advanced dervish in those terms, but he wandered about the lands still seeking for the teacher of the age, who would enable him to have confirmation of who and what he had attained. Now it so happened that in his wanderings, this dervish came to a certain town where he went to 
a shop and the shopkeeper happened to be an old uh, companion who he had spent years with in the company of a great teacher. But the dervish was greatly surprised to see this companion just now an ordinary tradesman. And so when they met, he spoke loudly to him about how disappointed he was that he'd fallen off the path, fallen out of the way. But uh, the shopkeeper remained silent and merely gave hospitality to the wandering dervish. Now when the wandering dervish took his leave in the places that he went, he took pains to relate the story of how he'd met an old companion who had fallen off the path and become just an ordinary trades person. But it so happened that in his travels the dervish had the great, great grace of encountering that one who is called Kadir, the green one, that uh, prophet, so-called, who comes to the aid of man when they're at a crossroads. And, uh, of course, recognizing Kadir, the dervish asked him, where, where can I find the teacher of the age who will give me the confirmation of what it is that I have attained? And Kadir replied, go to a certain town where you will find a tradesman who is the great teacher of the age. The dervish replied, How could it be him? He has fallen off the path. The deer appeared and confirmed, This is he who you have been seeking, the great teacher of the age who can give you affirmation, confirmation of what it is that you attained. The chemistry of these stories Could they be what is called the philosopher's stone? That which when the alchemy of the spiritual path has been completed and requires that final element the philosopher's stone, so called, that turns the refined elements of being into gold. Who and what are you? It's inevitable, the series, the sequence of energetic events that come with all the natural flow of life, bring us to this place <clears throat> where a stone rolls aside and we emerge. What is it? 
extends now. Never being able to go back to what we were, how we thought, what we believed. to experience what it is that's there and now. And what is this philosophy's stone? Or as depicted in the story, the so-called teacher of the age, our own self. Who and what are you now? The stone has rolled aside. We cannot go back to what we were. What are you now? <laughs> 